What's up guys? I'm on my way to Orlando to get a WAP bike session in with my coach, Domingos, and Souza. I think Chad Romans is gonna be there. And I'm honestly not sure who else is gonna be there. I know it's summer, so some of the kids, um, Domingos trains could be there too. So this is one of my last training sessions before I head over to Belgium for the World Championships. So today, try, I was trying to think of like, what I can do for a Watt Bike video besides showing you guys us pedaling as hard as we can on this Watt Bike. And I figured I would uh, kind of break down the whole Watt Bike um, information and like what the screen shows you. And honestly, I don't really know a whole lot about the Watt Bike and like how many watts equals horsepower and stuff like that. I just know like what the average guys in elite kind of get on the watt bike and where I want to be and should be as an elite. So I'm going to do some research and I'll kind of show you guys what I'm looking up on my phone and what I'm figuring out. But I'm going to show you guys my sprints and then I'll show you the screen after. The watt bike's honestly so cool. It gives you so much information, but yeah. I'll catch you guys in Orlando. We're gonna break down this Watt bike, try to get all the information we can, and I'll see you guys there. Bro, this kid's trying to race me. This kid's trying to race me. I just pulled up. I just pulled up. I'm trying to get raced already. Oh, <laughs> What's up, bro? I, I just woke up, dude. Come on, man. <laughs> So you don't want these. Yeah. I thought you were coming the left. Uh, I got here early. Special delivery. Thank you. I'm not gonna show the brand because I'm not sponsored. Let's see what my old Greg Frederick's doing on that old 50 year old dude. Oh, I love messing with my dad. He's so bad. <laughs> What's your name? Marcus Frederick. Marcus Frederick. Call me Marquan. You're legit. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I'm trying to make a video about the Watt bike. I'm trying to explain all the details. Like, do you even know what a Watt is? What is a Watt? What? Yeah. Do you know? Yeah. What is it? They're using electricity terms. <laughs> <laughs> electricity. <laughs> 50 watts so power like how much power like yeah well, power. but like there's a conversion watts to horsepower right yeah. like if you're like an engine like they would use it for watts but like for like an electric motor or something like that they they use horse they use watts as a horsepower term for electricity like for electric is he right yeah look it up it says one watt equals Point zero zero one three for British horsepower. Let me see. You can call it BH, British horsepower. And then we also Put have. 2000. I'm getting different information off this and this. I'm gonna do the watt bike. I'll pull three. Horsepower pull three to watt thousand. conversion table. Three. One oh. horsepower equals seven hundred and forty-five watts. I don't think this is right. If you do 3,000 watts, it's only four horsepower. Four? 3,000? I don't know. No, bro. You're wrong. It says four horsepower equals 2,982.7 watts. Oh, that's right. It is? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> So here on my first sprint, you can see the duration is only one second. It's a really short sprint, even though it feels like three seconds. My power average was 1,690 watts. So over the one second, my average watts were 1,690. But my power peak is 1,829, 1,829. And that's kind of the number everyone shoots for. If you ask somebody 
how many watts they do on the watt bike, they're going to tell you their power peak. After that, you see power mass. I did 20.12 watts per kilogram. So I'm doing 20 watts per every kilogram I weigh. After that is energy, and that's 1.7 kcal. And to be honest, I have no idea what that is. And after energy, you see the cadence, RPM. So I did 178 RPMs through the one second sprint, but my cadence peak, as you see below that, was 194 RPMs. And the cadence is kinda how well you're spinning or how efficient you are through the sprint. So if you're pedaling like this, your cadence is gonna be really low versus if you're pedaling nice and smooth. If you go over to the right, you see my speed average, and that was 81.4 kilometers an hour, and the distance below that was 23 meters. You see the force is left and right, so I did 53% left leg, 47% right leg. So I start right footed, and my second pedal is my left leg, which is usually one of your strongest pedals on your sprint. Below that, we don't really do the heart rate monitor or anything from that. And then my pace average at the bottom was 44 kilometers. And I'm not too sure what that is, to be honest, either. So these last two sprints were a lot harder than the first four. We were going for six seconds as you see on the duration, which doesn't sound long at all, but when you're pedaling for six seconds as hard as you possibly can, it feels close to 30 seconds long. The power average was 1,522 watts, so it was up from my last sprint, and then the power peak was 1870 watts. My power mass went up also and that was 18.12 watts per kilogram and my cadence was better as well and that was 178 RPMs throughout the whole sprint was the average and then the cadence peak was 188 RPMs. Over to the right my speed went up as well. The speed average was 78.3 kilometers an hour and the distance was 130 meters so I went one meter further than my last sprint and then back to my left and right leg it was 5149 again and then the pace average was 45 kilometers I'm in the car, I'm headed home, and I'm wore out. Coach told me this week was gonna be hard, and it sure was. My watts weren't as high as I would've liked them to be. My best ever is 2,025, which I was only 100 off, but every time I get on that watt bike, I'm trying to set a PR. If you like this video, leave a comment, give me a thumbs up, and if you have any ideas for me, let me know, I'll make any type of video. And before you go, check the description. I got 15% off Corsa, 
I got 10% off NutriBio, and my coach is always on me. Make sure I'm taking my supplements, make sure I'm recovering, and make sure I'm getting faster. So if you're training hard, you're working out hard, you're riding, you're doing anything, you probably need some supplements. So hit that link, get some NutriBio, grab some Corsa, and I'll see you guys at the next video. Peace.